I just want to speak with as much truth and reality to the situation. And I put in the facts. So I'm not a liar here. I mean, I'm determining people's beauty off of someone actually mathematically being analyzed. So that's not me hitting on anyone. It's just the truth. See, this is light skin and biracial beauty. That is not. A lot of people try to claim that someone is jealous of someone who has a face that's a five or a six and a body that is honestly scary when it's in a bikini. And I put in a photo of that as well. I do not get why people think just because you're dark skinned, you're beautiful, or just because you're light skinned, you're beautiful. See, I talked about this specifically with the December situation where Kevin Samuels was saying she's average at best. I had nothing against that. I really didn't. And the thing was, the reason I didn't have anything against average at best was because it's okay to question a dark-skinned woman on her looks if she is average at best. Not to say the woman was average at best. She was actually a seven. I analyzed her. Without makeup, I don't know. Maybe she's like this girl. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but what the heck is that belly? But anyway. Um, so, the thing is that I wanted to point out here was if you're light-skinned, you're not automatically beautiful. See, these are beautiful light-skinned black women. That is not. These are beautiful biracial women. That is not. And by the way, that's not even a biracial. And I would say they're brown-skinned, but some of these people are brown-skinned too. So you get what I'm saying. So to me, I just find it very weird that people would think that you could basically say just because someone was lighter skinned that people would be jealous of them or angry at them, you know, or triggered by them. No one is triggered by looking at her other than the fact that some of her features are very triggering because no one wants to see all that fat. Let's just be real. No one wants to see whatever her belly is doing. Okay, no one wants to see the wart on her face either because that is creepy too. I mean, like, you wear makeup and you cover it up, but then you take it off and you show it, and it's creepy. Heck, it looks kind of like a pimple, like it has some pus in it, but at the same time, it just looks. I, this is another reason I never like looking at her, and then also the lip ring makes it worse because now you have more bumps it's nasty but point is i mean there's nothing triggering about her as far as wanting to look like her if i look like her i would rip my face off and probably never eat because i mean like who wants to look at that that uh, i would not want to look at myself if my body was like that and had body parts attached to it that weren't even supposed to be humanly possible, okay? Just being completely honest. Add to the fact that she makes a good effort of contouring her nose. If she's so beautiful, how come she piles on so much makeup? I mean, like, I do not understand how... Usually beautiful people, as you can see, of different hues, do not need to pile on a contour and all the other things that people put on that aren't so attractive put on they don't especially the whole fake eyelashes thing that is you know you are really really trying here <laughs> when you put on all that much makeup and I know the thing is with beautiful people usually they're accused of wearing makeup when they're not like, they'll be accused of wearing fake eyelashes, or they'll be accused of wearing contour when they're not. Because they have good features that unattractive people have to put on lots of makeup to mimic. 
That's exactly what bossy is. See, when she puts on lots of makeup and piles on her face, she's still just a seven. See, these women that I'm showing you at their worst day are a seven. They're a seven on their worst day. And they still are a higher seven than her. Pretty women aren't naturally sixes in the face. Pretty women aren't naturally fives in the face. Pretty women are at least a seven or an eight in the face. This lady can't even become an eight with makeup. And don't even try to be a nine. Like that's impossible for her unless she's putting on some kind of like filter or something. That's not actually naturally a part of her face. It's more computerized, but if she actually has a natural, you know, look to her where she, it's what she looks like in real life, she never reaches a nine. She's always a seven. It's what it is. That's not a pretty girl, sorry. That's an average girl. You're not an ugly girl. I'm not going to call you that because lying about someone's looks means you're jealous. Telling the truth about someone's looks is just telling the truth. See... I wanted to actually talk about this because I was looking at, you know, the The Mademoiselle channel on her video. And I looked at some of the other people, specifically Bozzi's front cover and another person who's associated with her, their front cover. I did not watch any of their videos. I will not. Um, and I looked at some of the comments, too, and it's just like, to me, like I said, they claimed that um, the Mademoiselle claims like that all light-skinned people are ugly and that all dark-skinned people are beautiful or something. And I've specifically watched her channel and I've seen how they specifically will cut out specific things that she said to fit their narrative. What they're upset about is not claiming that all light-skinned women are beautiful. I agree with her on that. I agree that not all light-skinned women are beautiful, and I agree that not all dark-skinned women are beautiful. She specifically says that. And um, they don't like that because they want their light skin to make them seem like they are beautiful and ideal because... No good-looking, light-skinned woman would just want her light skin to make her beautiful. See, there's this light-skinned girl who's half Puerto Rican who specifically said, if my face is ugly, dark-skinned, she's offended. Because she understands that she's beautiful for her features, not her skin tone. So anyone who's trying to base themselves off of their looks on skin tone, whether they're dark skin or light skin, they're doing it because they don't have anything else, really. So on the specific channel that I was talking about, pertaining to being pro, I guess, lighter skinned women, which I have nothing against personally. I mean, that's totally fine. And, you know, a major thing for me was I actually agreed when it comes to colorism doesn't exist. And I talk about this in another video, actually. An associate of this person, I actually did a video on. Um, I just did not name her because <laughs> I'm secretive like that. And that's who I was specifically talking about. But um, the way I see it is this. You know, you can talk about colorism not existing but you have to act like colorism doesn't exist. You don't create colorism, so then people think colorism really actually does exist. And that's 
a major thing that those channels do. I specifically talk about this in my other ch video, like maybe two months ago, where I was saying how there are people who cry about colorism, that's usually dark skinned people, people who love the existence of colorism and wish it existed, some lighter skinned people, um, some people who are just basically colorist against dark skinned people. And then specifically some people who are, you know, like me, who don't think it really exists in a real situation, basically. I think a lot of people wish it existed. I think people feel poorly about themselves and, you know, with lighter skinned black people and brown skinned black people, they experience a lot of racism and they experience a lot of colorism. And so then they try to wish that there was some kind of difference between dark skinned and lighter skinned black people. So then they could feel like they're better. And, you know, that's why channels like that exist because they've dealt with colorism. They've dealt with hate, you know, and they have a sense of self-hate, you know, for themselves. And I'll get into that as well. You see, according to the video against the Mademoiselle, both of these channels basically depicted her as a black woman. She is a black woman. But the thing is, they acted like she was a black woman. And neither the person talking about her who made the video was black, and neither was Bossy considered black. Yet, Bossy is 83% black. So she's not mixed. She's a black woman. The person talking about Bossy and the Mademoiselle ha has admitted she's not mixed. She's over 50% black. So basically, there are two black women involved in the situation. A black woman making the video, talking about a black woman who was talking about another black woman. Nobody was mixed in this situation. Nobody was another race. Everybody was the same race. The only thing is, these two black women wish they weren't black. That's all. So, I mean, like, if we're really saying who has more problems here, I would say the person who made the video has extreme problems because she's trying to identify as mixed, but she's not mixed. And the other lady obviously has issues at 83% black trying to say she's mixed. I mean, most black Americans are 78% black, just to put that in to um, comparison. So this, I would consider her brown skin. She's the same color as me, but they're trying to say light skin or whatever. Um, black woman is more black than the average black person, whether dark, light, really doesn't matter. Um, so, to me, I mean, you're saying that she has some issue with being black. She has, she's triggered by you. What is she triggered by? You guys are all the same thing. Heck, I understand the person making the video is lighter skinned. She claims that she actually is light brown too, though. So she's still in the same range. They're all basically brown-skinned black women. I would think if anyone's position I'd want to be in, it would be the Mademoiselle, because at least she is aware that she is a brown-skinned black woman, and she seems like she's happy with who she is. These people are the same thing as her, but they don't want to be. That's basically it. I mean, who wants to be someone who doesn't want to be themselves? I mean, they don't even want to be themselves. So, I mean, no one is triggered by you, okay? No one. You aren't even triggered by you. You just wish you were somebody else. And, you know, the sickest part 
to this whole situation. It doesn't even have to do with this situation specifically. There's a reason why I notice that these people, these two people, and actually another person, would constantly try to harass my channel. I had to block all three of them because they kept coming to my channel expecting me to be crazy just like them. And expecting like me to want to be more into their platform of, you know, thinking they're mixed or something just because they're brown skinned or whatever. And, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not messed up like that. Sorry. But, you know, the main reason I ended up blocking them, one, I blocked because she got mad at me because I would sometimes show my photos looking dark skinned because I like to darken my photos because I think dark skin is ideal. And so that's, I just always thought that it looks better being dark skinned because I mean, like we're black. It makes more sense to be what you, what most black people look like anyway. I don't know. It just makes sense to me. Um, and so she got mad at me and we had a whole feud and I blocked her. She blocked me. But the other one, I specifically got rid of kind of very quietly. <laughs> Because she had the nerve to actually make a video on one of the content creators I actually very much love. Um, I've made plenty of videos on her and I love her channel. But um, she decided to go on that channel. And the woman that I'm talking about, the content creator I'm talking about, is brown skinned too. But she was mad at her because she's not self-hating, basically. And she basically sent a comment calling dark-skinned black women darkies. So, I mean, whatever makes a black woman call a, another black woman darkies at this point, I mean, like, that, I mean, no one has more self-hate than that individual. And that's why I blocked her. Because, I mean, like, when you're calling someone darkies, and you're a black woman. You feel that way about yourself. Somebody called you that probably too. So, I mean, as having a dark skinned mother, I just never appreciated that person really coming to my channel or associating or anything of that nature. So, yeah, that's one thing I have to say there. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about was according to these comments yes i do agree with the fact that they're saying that the other lady bossy is not light skinned she's brown skinned that's true she has lighting on her face that makes her look lighter than what she is she did that purposefully that's why at the hospital she looks brown skinned um but more than that i don't agree with the fact of calling her bleach or a bleacher, maybe she is a bleacher because she did talk about it with her sister, but I don't know, to me, I mean, like, if we don't have actual evidence of it, I don't want to call her a bleacher, because to me, the way I see it is brown-skinned people, they're always changing in skin tone, so calling us bleachers is really not smart, because I mean, like, it's always changing, like, you're tanning some days, and you're getting lighter some days, it's not really right or fair to call someone brown-skinned a bleacher, but I guess if she's accusing others of being bleachers, then maybe it is. I don't know. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about, oh yeah, was one of the comments <laughs> specifically said, and I've seen plenty of comments say this, actual light-skinned people keep saying that women like this aren't light-skinned. They just have some issue and they're trying to get over on dark-skinned women. And that's really true. I mean, I've seen that often where many of the people who claim to be light-skinned being colors to other people aren't light-skinned. They're just brown-skinned. Um, I do think that some biracial people, you know, they need their own sector and things of that nature. But that's a whole different thing than light-skinned black women and brown-skinned black women trying to act like they're mixed in hopes to distance themselves from dark-skinned women. Also, yes, I did include the other um, comment, like I said, 
on, you know, dark-skinned women being disrespected by that other individual, and that's the main reason why I just cannot, you know, stand with people like that. So, you know, basically, in ending this is, you know, we should deal in reality. And I feel like these people don't deal in reality. They think that they are mixed people. They don't realize they're not even light-skinned. You know, um, they're attacking people who are darker-skinned and claiming that they're more beautiful than them just because they're lighter-skinned, even in cases where they're not even lighter than them. <laughs> Um, and, I mean, at this point, they're just very delusional people. Obviously delusional people. Um, I don't feel like that the Mademoiselle did anything wrong in this video. I really don't. I just feel like, um, she just basically showed her video and, you know, reacted to it. She reacts to most videos of all kinds, like, they don't all have to do with skin tone either, most of them don't, so, I mean, like, that's just what her channel does, and I don't really see anything against it, it's cool getting her perspective, she has a cool perspective, and I don't think she's an irrational person, you know, what I think is irrational is someone who actually thinks that they're not black, even though they're a black person, or they think they're more beautiful than someone just because their skin tone is a certain color. So that's basically all I have to say in this video. It's just like, we should deal in reality and not fantasy, okay? Um, if you can't deal in reality, maybe go to therapy. But don't put it on YouTube, okay? Just, just don't do that. That's not a good look. And that's why most people are laughing at you, because...